Flow, starting release 2022B, you will be able to manage your Simulink bus alias type, numeric type, value type and enumeration objects all in one place via the type editor which can be launched from the Simulink tool strip. On the left pane, you will see the base workspace displayed by default and optionally any open data dictionaries. The center pane displays all the supported types from the currently selected source and new types can be added using the gallery in the add section of the tool strip. The view section of the tool strip lets you choose one of three views to identify displayed columns. Value refers to properties relevant to only atomic data specifications such as min, max, etc. Code refers to code generation properties relevant to simulink types such as datascope, header file, etc. And all shows everything. A type editor displays a lean property inspector dialog on the right pane for any type selected in the center pane. When a type is selected in the center pane, any type referenced by it is highlighted to indicate interplay between the types. To navigate to the reference type, just right click on the current type and click on the go to item. You can multi-select types in the center pane for batch editing of a property across types. Also note any errors or warnings that you may encounter along the way. You can filter contents based on a universal filter or column specific filter for filtering by property values. After you're done editing types, you can export them to a mat or m file using the share section of the tool strip for base workspace. In the case of a data dictionary, you can right click the dictionary row in the sources pane or use the file section on tool strip to save changes. You can also revert your changes and you can close the dictionary once editing is complete.